Hi folks, I'm Andy Allen. Today I'm going to show you how to use Google Sheets and Google Classroom to allow students to sign up for groups. So in this case, I want students to meet in their own Google Meets. And I have another video that explains how to do that. I'll link that at the end of this one. So first of all, I want to limit how many people per group. Um, and, and the way I have done that is, first thing I've done is, is set up a Google Sheet. So you see I have group one, two, three, up to group six. And I personally want to limit each group to four people. You're gonna do things uh, to suit your own needs. And the, the colors are really easy to do. You just highlight the cells, click on the paint bucket, and select the color you want. Okay, so basically I want to make this Google Sheet available to students, but I don't want them putting names down here. Otherwise, I'm gonna end up with a group of 10 and two people here, and three people here, and so on. All right, so I wanna protect certain parts of the sheet. This is really, really easy. First thing you're going to do is click anywhere on a sheet, right click, that is, scroll down and find protect range. Left click on that. Then this is going to pop up. Click on add a sheet or range, click on sheet, and then basically this means I'm going to protect the sheet except for certain cells. I, I, I want to allow students to access this so they can type their names in. So. I click the box, accept certain cells. Now I have to tell it which sheet, which, sorry, which cells to allow students to have access to. Click on the grid, then all I do is I go back over here and I select the cells that I want to allow uh, students to access. And if you look here, it has given me B2 to G5. So that's B2, right, B2, down to G5. So that just kind of allows you to confirm. All right, from there you hit OK, and that's it, you're done. Now, when you post this on Google Classroom, which is probably the, the, the way you want to share this with students, um, I go to my classwork, not my stream, and I hit Create Material, and you give it a name, so this is uh, MA Groups, and hit add so because i recently accessed this on my from my drive that should be popping up right away okay you get a bunch of videos of me from my other class stuff i was making so this is what i was looking for my google uh, meet groups and i hit insert okay so there it is now you're probably familiar with this but you decide where you want this to go um if you want to schedule this for later, you hit schedule, enter the time. If you want to post it now, uh, you just post it now. Now, we're not quite finished. I have to go here and back to my sheet, and I have to give the classroom, give the Google Classroom access to it. All right, so I go here and I find this is me, teachers. This is students and right now by default it gives them access only as a viewer so i want to change that to editor but because i have protected some of these cells they're only going to be able to fill in the ones that i have chosen okay so after you do that you are done okay save and now you can make this available for students okay all right, thanks for watching. And again, if you're looking out for how to make breakout groups using Google Calendar, click the video right in the corner here. Thanks, have a great day.